want to talk with you about meeting my parents tomorrow before the wedding. My dad is a pretty strict man, and he has a pretty thick skull when it comes to anything that he doesn't see as proper. I feel as though he might say some pretty rude things to you tomorrow, Luke. But, of course, you don't have to worry too much. I'm sure things will go just fine. Just know that he'll be asking about money and work and all that, so maybe think of some things to say to him just so that you're ready. It's all right. I understand. He's giving away his important daughter to another man that he's never met in person before. And that can be pretty stressful for him. And I'm sure he doesn't want you with someone he can't trust. So he needs to make sure I have a job that can support us. And the heart to care for you no matter what. Well, don't think it'll be all that bad, okay? <laughs> just make sure that you're prepared for him to give you a hard time. He's just a really stubborn man and it worries me a little. But deep down, once he's gotten to know you well, he's like a teddy bear. You don't have to say that. He has a beautiful daughter, and so he has to become stubborn to protect you from all the men that have their eyes on you. And besides, Jenna, your dad is a business owner, right? So he's always been having to stay strict and tough while making sure his company does well. Well, I think that you're the perfect man for me and can impress my dad, hence me finally showing you to him. But if my dad can just see how much you love me and want to protect me, that'd be enough, I think. Anything else should be fine after that. I'll do my best. Also, even though we're meeting tomorrow, he wants to talk with you before that. Huh? Before we all get together? So he does want to meet today, then? Yes. I think he just wants to introduce himself now so that you guys can get right to talking when we all meet. That's why I'd like to tell him your contact information right now. Is that okay? You can, but... Hmm? If he says anything weird to you, you can just ignore him, okay? Alright, I'll tell him right now. Alright then. I am Jenna's father, Frank. I'm looking forward to seeing you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys as well. My name is Luke Graves. You should know that I run my own business, right? Yes, I sure do. Of course you do. <laughs> that must mean you're after my money, correct? I am not at all in this for your money. I have plenty of money myself, so there are no problems there. And the reason that I'm with your daughter is because I plan to love her forever. I can understand that you'd be worried about me. But if you would be kind enough to just take my word for it, then everything would be okay. What's your occupation? You don't seem to be anything like a doctor or a lawyer. That's right, I'm not. But the work I do is very generous to me, so you have nothing to worry about. Are you not going to tell me exactly what you do for a job? Does that mean that the work you do is that repulsive? Not at all, sir. I'd just be more comfortable telling you about my line of work when we meet in person. I'd be able to explain in much more detail everything related to the work I do. And so, I ask that you please wait to hear from me tomorrow. Well, I won't get my hopes up for you. And I will not allow my daughter to marry anyone that's less than middle class. I have a company of my own in my possession so I can find someone more apt to marry her for me. I just want to say, Jenna has already chosen me to be her husband. And so, seeing you and your wife tomorrow is to show my love and care for her. So I'd be very grateful if you could find it in yourself to trust your daughter's decision. It must take quite a lot of courage for a young man like yourself to talk to me that way. Make sure you're ready for tomorrow. Well then, I'll be preparing myself for tomorrow. I don't want you anywhere near my daughter ever again! You're not allowed to even come close to her ever again in your life, Luke! Do you not even understand what you've just done to me? What you just committed was a crime! A crime, huh? And why do you think that? I was over there to meet you and your wife today before your daughter and I get married and you chose to hit me in the face with your ashtray! How couldn't that be a crime? I didn't just do it for no reason. You work for the city's public transportation, and that's why I made a clear choice to smack you upside the head with that ashtray. That was my way of protecting my family from thieves like you. <laughs> I'm sure you understand what it means to protect your family and all, but... 
I was just making sure that my daughter was well protected from a fraud. Protected her? What did I do that was threatening her? A lower class public transportation worker was trying to take my daughter from me. I never once said that I'd allow my daughter to join someone that low in our society. I have a company to manage and keep, but having someone of your likes in the family would tear it down. I will no longer let you around her, so things are finished here. Now get lost. You understand that I can't just get lost now, right? Excuse me? No matter how much you try and fight me, it'll be no use. I will never allow my daughter to become lower class. <laughs> well, if you plan to use that as your only excuse, then you'll be breaking apart our engagement. You'll regret that, Frank. Regret it? You're the one that'll be regretting anything here. I'll make sure that you're full of regrets. <laughs> if you just thought about all of this, you'd understand why, right? You're a simple transportation worker, and you'll never be able to get your hands on Jenna. If me hitting you in the head with that ashtray has opened your eyes to that, then go away. Then this engagement to your daughter is over. Go away, you low-life scum! <laughs> and would you please let Jenna know that we're through as well for me? I'm not some public transportation worker. But if that's what you want to continue thinking, then go ahead. Huh? What are you implying here? I can see that explaining myself any further will do me no good. So I'm finished with what I've said. The next time we talk, we'll be in the courtroom. Courtroom? What you just did to me today was assault. I'll have you in court for assaulting me. So prepare yourself, Frank. <laughs> you think you can sue me with what little money you have? I own a company, Luke. I have a bunch of lawyers at my disposal, so there's nothing you can do to me! <laughs> Taking me to court will only waste what little money you have left! But let's think for a second. Do you even have the money to afford a lawyer of your own? I'm not sure what your reason is for belittling me this much, but I'm not some public transportation worker. I just gave you a simple explanation of my work, and you came to that incorrect conclusion yourself. I work for the Transportation Bureau for this city. Huh? The Transportation Bureau? I'm sure me saying that is a bit too vague for you, but the work I do is a lot more significant than you have come to think. I have to work with plenty of politicians as well regarding my work. Huh? Politicians? Without having to get too far into detail regarding the exact details, hearing that I work with the government has you pretty excited now, right? But I suppose that happened after all you did to me today. You hitting me in the face with that ashtray will become quite the problem for you here soon. Hold on one second, Luke. What kind of joke is this? Why would the Transportation Bureau be working with politicians? That couldn't be! Stop playing games with me! Well, if you want to continue to believe that I'm joking with you, that's on you. I have a lot of things that I'll need to attend to now, so I must go. If you're still wondering which of us two will be regretting today, I'll help you find the answer. Did something happen with you? Luke, this doesn't have something to do with you, does it? What are you talking about? There has been some pressure coming from somewhere, and it is causing my company to go under. And because of that, my company wants to change its CEO! If things keep up like this, then I'm going to be forced out of the company! What the hell is going on here, Luke? Are you saying this is all due to me hitting you earlier? Well, I wonder about that one, Frank. <laughs> Excuse me? Tell me right now, you little jerk! I'm asking you a very serious question right now! Even if you're taking things serious now, you're far too late. You did, in fact, hit me in the face with an ashtray, right? I ended up calling some people I know about that, and they transferred me to people that could really help. Do you now understand the severity of what you've done to me? Even if I do understand now, I'm in hot water! Did you tell my daughter about this as well? Right now, she's furious with me for hitting you in the head with that plastic ashtray! Are you wondering why she might be upset with you? <laughs> You don't have to have any more doubts about it. 
She's shocked about what you ended up doing and has no faith left in you. She told me that if I can't fix things, she never wants to see me again. Why? She's never acted this way before to me. She's told me that she's not only pissed, but wants to leave you forever. And she has a right to. You hit her fiancé in the face with a literal ashtray. I had to go to the hospital to get help after that. So if you're going to start crying to me to make things better for you, you're already too late, as I've turned in a report of you assaulting me. Huh? A report on me? That's nothing other than a joke! I told you I've had enough of your jokes, Luke! Stop that bullcrap now! I'd never let you report me for Jack! If that actually happened, then I'd really lose everything to do with my company! And that wouldn't only just affect me in the end, but my wife and my daughter as well! Come on now. Even though you want to keep denying the truth, it's already in motion due to your behaviors earlier. So really, no matter what you try and say to me now, your time has come. My time has come? There's just no way! I'm apologizing to you right now so you can put all your games to an end now! Do you really think I care for your apologies now, after you wasted so much time complaining to me? You not only hurt me physically with a literal piece of dirty plastic, but when I got to the hospital and told the police how I got my injuries, they helped me write up that report. But hold on! All I did was get up in arms a little bit too quickly, and that's a good enough reason to involve the police?! With how sharp and hard that ashtray was, if you'd hit me in the right place, you could have seriously injured me. Do you understand that? You put all your strength into that blow, and it messed me up bad. Thank God I have a thick skull on me. Please, if you keep this up, I'm going to lose my family as well! At least stop yourself from keeping the police involved! Both your wife and daughter are already fed up with you now, so there's no getting around them leaving you. Huh? Your family already understands that they can't stay near you, and so, there is little you can do to stop them. So even if I don't keep the police involved, things will not change. Understand that maybe it is time you take this all upon yourself and be responsible for your actions. Is there anything else you'd like to say to me now? I get it. I'll let you marry my daughter. I'll let you marry my daughter and take her from me. But if you leave things as they are, I'll be screwed! If you can't take my word and marry my daughter now, then what else am I supposed to do for you? Jenna and I are already married, Frank. Huh? But you're not going to be a part of the family. Well, if you're already married to my daughter, then why are you doing all of this? Why do you keep coming at me? I'm not coming at you whatsoever, Frank. Jenna herself is already well into her adult life, and so, if she says she's wanting to marry me, then it's decided. But of course, if you'd just been a bit strict with me and said no, I might have tried a bit harder to gain your trust. However, instead, you chose to be violent and hit me on the head. And so, now your family can no longer trust you, nor feel safe around you. This is all because of your inability to act as a respectable man yourself. And so now, I have to defend myself and my wife from you. Don't you feel like you're taking this too far, though? I want to make sure that you understand what you've done and regret it. And I will not stop until that day has come for you. You're already too late to stop me now. So just give up on trying anything. So now... How do you feel about talking to the police? The police? So then you were serious about that? What is your goal? And I mean your real goal! Do you want my money or something? How much of it? I'll get it for you, so just tell me however much you want! That's it right there, Frank. <laughs> huh? What? I do not need your money. And I've said that already before, right? I am not in any way financially struggling, so don't act as though I want anything of yours. Yet all you keep thinking about is money. That's why this has happened. You thought that I wanted to marry your daughter for your money, but that was just not the case. 
And even if it was, that's no excuse to hit me with an ashtray. Shouldn't this all be something you knew before you had a family? I understand that now. You don't understand. And that's why this is still going on. You just asked me how much of your money I wanted because you still think that's what all this is about. You should learn from all of this, that not everyone on this planet is worried about money like you. Well, it doesn't matter if you learn or not now. I've already got the police involved, and I have the injuries to prove you assaulted me. I'll pay for you to get treated! Please! I'm Jenna's father, Luke! I know that. <laughs> and that's why you decided to hit me, right? <laughs> now, I'll be going. Wait a second! Forgive me right now! And as a final note, you have your answer. You're the one that's going to be regretting all of this. <laughs> And after that, the police went and took Frank into custody, which to everyone's surprise was easy considering the fact that he was so angry. They then took him to the police station and questioned him to learn everything they could about the report that was filed. And luckily enough, he confirmed it was all true and made things much easier for me. He was also moved out of his position as the CEO within the company, as they knew from me what was going on. And after being taken out of the position, he was offered no package and was fired for going against company policy. And that was by him being a criminal. He also lost all his family and is pretty much in ruin now as he tries to comprehend why this all happened so fast. His wife was out of their house almost immediately after seeing the police take him. And she herself has a lawyer that's working on the divorce. And Jenna stayed to tell him that she no longer wanted him in her life. But then after her final words, she was out of the house as well. During that time, I was working with my lawyer to make sure that I did in fact get money from him after what he had done to me. But as I said before, I was in no real need for his money. And so, after going through court and me winning the case, he gave me $15,000 to pay for both my time in the hospital and for the trouble caused. I took that money thereafter and used it for Jenna's and my wedding and viewed that money as a present from her dad to help support our marriage. <laughs> Of course, I did put some of that money into the medical expenses, as I did have to get a lot of tests done to make sure that my brain was okay, as well as having to get stitches for the gash on my head. There was also a small fracture to my skull that I needed to keep an eye on, and that alone goes to show just how hard he hit me with that ashtray. Also, since Jenna has been married to me even before leaving her dad, she didn't have to worry about where to go next after leaving the house, and so she came to my house to live and never has to worry about her dad again. Ever since he lost everything, not much is known about where he went, but I'm sure wherever that may be, he's trying his best to get back on top. But of course, that'll be impossible. Jessica, don't you think it's about time you come visit me? I haven't seen you for more than 10 years now. I am your mother-in-law, so you may feel uneasy around me, but I think you've avoided me enough. Hi, Martha. It's been a while. I didn't expect to hear from you. It's been 10 years already? I can't believe you never came to see me all these years. I know you're busy with work, but we don't live that far apart, and I'm sure you could have made time at least on the weekends. I'm sorry about that, but I heard you didn't want to see me. Huh? When did I say such a thing? Even if I did, it would be a long time ago. Speaking of which, I heard that you said you didn't want to see me. What? I never said that. My son tells me everything. I understand you don't like me, but avoiding me for 10 years is absurd. I didn't go see you because I heard you hated me. I kept telling your son I wanted to go visit you, but he stopped me. You're lying. You blame my son for everything. You really are the kind of woman he says you are. What did he say about me? I've heard everything about you, you know. You seem to be good at cooking, 
but you're terrible at everything else. Maybe I'll have an urge to slap your face if you come see me now. Matt told you that. He tells me quite the opposite, that I'm terrible at cooking, but good at all other chores. So that's why he hasn't divorced me yet. Oh well. In any case, you're a total failure. It's a mystery why he chose you as his wife. A woman who can't even say hi to your mother-in-law for ten years. I really did try to go visit you, but Matt said it was a bad idea and stopped me every time. He said you hated me so much that you never wanted to see my face again. He thought it caused too much trouble. Oh, really? You think you can get away with such lies? He was telling me the exact opposite. He told me not to go see you because you hated me. Oh, is that so? That's really strange. It's as if he doesn't want us to see each other. Then I guess that was his way of showing consideration towards us. He wouldn't want to see his wife insulting his mother, right? Plus, it'll be a hassle to stop us fighting. I sure don't like how you can lie so easily. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. Then why don't you come to my place in person with a gift of apology? I'll forgive you for your rudeness if you bring me ten gifts to cover all my birthdays you missed. Ten gifts? I'll gladly bring you gifts and also take you out for lunch or dinner, but I'm quite busy for the next few weeks. Is it okay if I go see you at the end of next month? You keep making excuses like that. You're just gonna avoid me again, huh? What a daughter-in-law! I'm not trying to avoid you. I work full time, so I'm busy during the weekdays. Also, I'm going on a trip starting next Saturday, so. A trip? You couldn't make time for me all these years, but you have enough time to travel. I assume it'll be a luxurious trip. Well, it may not be that luxurious, but Matt arranged it for me. He does that for me sometimes to thank me for all my hard work. My son is a really kind man. He's too good for you. He should have married someone better than you. I'm sorry, but if you don't mind, may I go see you after the trip? Well, in that case, I shall wait. I can't ruin my son's gift. Thank you very much. Jessica, long time no see. I'm Emily, your classmate from high school. Do you remember me? Emily, long time no see. Yeah, of course I remember you. But we haven't talked since then, so you really took me by surprise. What's going on? Sorry to contact you out of the blue. There was just something I wanted to tell you. What is it? It may feel weird that I'm asking you this, but how are things with your husband? What? Well, I don't know if things are going great, but it's not bad. Why would you ask me that? I know it's none of my business, but he seems to be in love with someone else. So I don't know how to say this, but I think it's better for you to divorce him. What? Wait. What are you talking about? I mean, why would you know about my husband? Of course, you'd be surprised. Actually, our husbands are friends. My husband told me what he heard from your husband, and I became worried about you. I didn't know you were married, and our husbands knew each other, and that's how you found out. How did our husbands get to know each other? They work at the same place. They go out for drinks sometimes. I see. But how did you know he was my husband? I didn't invite you to my wedding. I remember the pics he posted on Facebook. Oh, I may have posted a few pics with him. I haven't posted anything for a long time, so I forgot. There may have been some pics before we got married. When my husband showed me a picture he took with your husband. 
I thought I've seen that face before, and it hit me that he must be your husband. I'm surprised you recognized him. But why did you go through the trouble of telling me? We were former classmates, but we haven't spoken to each other for years. You're my friend. I can't just keep quiet knowing my friend might be betrayed by her husband. Well, we've never spoken to each other since high school, so I was really surprised. But thank you for letting me know. No problem. I can't believe he would betray such a kind person as you. You should break up with him right away. Well, we have a child, so I can't divorce him that easily. If it's just that he likes someone else, maybe we can figure things out together. What? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? He may be in love with someone, but that doesn't mean he already has a deep relationship. I wouldn't jump into a divorce just because of that. Well, it's true that he hasn't said anything more than having feelings for the other woman, but he said he wants to remarry her. That's why he's thinking of divorcing you, Jessica. Oh. My husband went into so much detail when talking to your husband? That's what I heard. I thought it might be impossible to have a future with such a man. Okay. Well, that's for me to decide. Wait. Don't tell your husband about this. If you tell him, he might have a grudge against my husband. I don't want to get in the way of their friendship. Well, you're right. If I told him that your husband told me, he would lose my husband's trust. But then, what do you think I should do? I'll give you updates. If your husband is willing to divorce you, why don't you think about the future without him? You shouldn't waste your time on such a man. It's not like we're just dating, so I have a lot to think about. But thanks for the info. I'll keep an eye on my husband and think carefully of what to do. Jessica, you are such a terrible mother. Your son eats a lot. The food expenses are just too much, so I'll be sure to make you pay for it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't you dare play dumb with me. How can you leave your kid with me for a month? Are you out of your mind? I will certainly make my son divorce you. Are you talking about my son, born between Matt and I? If it's about my son, he has been with me this whole time. My son and I are enjoying the beach together in Hawaii. I would never leave him for such a long time. What? You guys have only one child, right? Yes, we only have one child. So can you tell me who you're talking about? Then this child. Who is this boy in my care? Did Matt tell you to take care of that child? Did he also tell you he's our son? Of course. I would never take care of a stranger. I'm not stupid, you know. I'm not trying to say you're stupid. I'm just trying to understand what's happening. So you're saying that Matt has another kid? No, that can't be true. You're saying that my dear son Matt has an illegitimate son? Well, that's what's going on, isn't it? What did he exactly tell you when he dropped off that kid? I told him that I heard you were going on a trip. Then, he got mad at me for contacting you without his permission. I was just trying to compliment him, telling him how nice it was of him to treat his wife to a trip. I see. And then, all of a sudden, his attitude changed. He asked me to take care of his son so that you two can spend time as a couple. Matt is there too, right? He's not here. He told me he couldn't come because he had to go on a business trip. So it's just me and my son here in Hawaii. He's been exposed in more ways than one. It can't be. There must be some mistake. If I call him, we can find out the truth right away. He told me not to contact him since he'd be busy during the business trip. What did he say to you? 
He told me not to contact him so that he could enjoy his time alone with you. Oh. So why did you contact me then? Since your son eats so much, the money I received from Matt wasn't enough. I thought I'd complain to you instead. Now, I wonder where that child came from. Once I get back, I'll go to your house and have a chat with him. Wait, there's no need for that. I'll go talk to the boy. Don't make it a big deal. I'm sure Matt has his reasons. I'm sure he has a very good reason. Otherwise, this wouldn't have happened. But it's weird. I've been taking care of him regularly for 10 years, but you never once thanked me. I got so angry, I decided to contact you. What? You're saying horrifying things right now. You've been taking care of him for the last 10 years? Whose child is he? I'll just ask him what his mother's name is right now. Yes. Please let me know what he says. He said Emily. That's what I thought. Do you know who she is? She was my high school classmate. She's cute and looks very innocent, but she was famous for stealing her friend's boyfriends. I see. So that girl stole Matt from you. I heard that she was a very good cook. So it makes sense with what Matt said. I'm not very good at cooking, so Matt always complains to me about it. I'm sure Emily would make him delicious home-cooked meals. You're so calm and analytical even after your husband is stolen. You've got some guts. But I can't believe you lost your husband to an old classmate. She's the same age as you, right? I can only say, suck it up. Let me tell you something. I'm divorcing Matt. And I know that's what you've always wanted, so you can be happy about that. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. That's great. Just get divorced and get the hell out of our lives. But Emily is way worse than I am. What do you mean? She's famous for doing nothing except cooking. All the guys she's dated in the past broke up with her because of that. I think she's trying to marry Matt because of his income. There's no way I'm letting my son marry a woman who gave birth to his illegitimate child. I don't think she's the kind of woman who will listen to you. If you object, she'll try to marry him in secret. If she weren't such a woman, she wouldn't have an illegitimate child. It may not be easy, but... She is the kind of woman who declared war on me, knowing I was Matt's wife. She tried talking me into divorcing Matt, pretending she was innocent. But I'm not going to let them get away that easily. Don't you dare do anything unnecessary. I'm fully prepared. I actually hired a detective and knew all this before you told me. So all I needed was the real evidence and your testimony. Now, I can sue him for alimony and child support. You set me up? It's all your son's fault. I haven't done anything to you or your son. I'm sorry you've been deceived by your own son for the last 10 years. Now, I'm cutting ties with you both. So you two shall fall to the ends of the earth and despair. After that, I confronted my husband with the evidence. For the past 10 years, he regularly left his illegitimate child with his mother to go on dates with Emily. I divorced him and charged him alimony and child support. Lately, I have been enjoying taking cooking classes with my son. As I expected, Emily married my ex right away. However, I had informed my ex's company of what had happened, and he was reduced to an ordinary employee with a lower salary. Now, they are both in despair. My ex-mother-in-law was resented by her son for being the one responsible for making me realize what was going on. Matt cut ties with her out of anger. None of that matters to me anymore, though. 
I will enjoy my life with my son and try my best to raise him to be a good man, unlike his father.